Hello everybody, this is Ananya Sikdar and you are watching my channel Tuning with Mass Communication. Today I am going to discuss on the topic Soviet Communist Theory. So first I will just give you a brief on this theory. Under the Soviet Communist Theory or Marxist Theory, the state owns or in some way controls all forms of mass media directly. Means the mass, all forms of mass media was directly under the control of the government means the government will be controlling the media this theory is also known as social media theory according to this theory the media is responsible for bringing to surface the concerns of the working class people of the society and to serve their interests see this means uh, the government's main focus was on the working class people so what the government wanted government wanted that the media should be responsible to bring out the concerns of the working class people on the surface so that they can serve their interest. The role of the media in countries applying this theory to act as an instrument of the ruling party to unite people of the state and to carry out plans of the party and state bringing about societal change. The countries who all are applying this theory what they did, they used the media as an instrument. The ruling party used the media as an instrument to bring the, uh, to bring the uh, societal change, to unite people, to carry out their plans. The main purpose of this theory is to ensure the success and continuance of the Soviet socialist system and to promote the objectives of the Soviet socialist party. See, the purpose was to... Uh, bring the concerns of the working class people through the media but the main purpose was to ensure the success and continuance of the soviet social system and to promote the objectives of this soviet socialist party this system is found mainly in the soviet union and communist countries so now i'll just tell you how this theory has been originated how this theory has been uh, has came into being. This theory originated from the teachings of Karl Marx and Engels with mutations at the hands of Lenin and Stalin after the 19th century. This theory originated from the teachings of Karl Marx and Engels. What was the teachings of Karl Marx? The teachings of Karl Marx was uh, there should be no private ownership, there should be end to exploitation, classless society, etc. And with the support of, uh, with the support of uh, Lenin and Stalin, it came into being after the 19th century. Marx said that the problems due to urbanization and industrialization were caused by the actions of the powerful elite class. This means whatever the problem is facing, whatever problem is causing in the urbanization and industrialization is causing just because of the elite class people. Marx proposed that the workers should rise against capitalist and demand an end to exploitation. According to Marx, what he proposed, he proposed that the working class people should come together, unite together and uh, rise against the capitalist so that there should be end to the exploitation. According to Marx, media is one of the means, many modern technologies that should be controlled and used to advance communism. See, according to Marx, it is said that the allied class people is dominating the working class people. So, media is the tool through which many modern technologies can be controlled and used to advance communism, means to carry out their objectives, to carry out the objectives of the communism. Now, I'll discuss on the features which will Clarify this theory, which will make your understanding much better. The theory desires that the media should be under the control of the working class and serve their purpose. This means uh, media should, as we already studied, as we already know, the media's work is to look after the working class people. So here in this theory, it is again said that the main desire of the media should be under, under the, the 
theory desire means the theory desire that the media should be under the control of the working class people and serve their interest media should be completely state owned and private media strictly prohibited means there should be no private ownership the media has to work according to the government they have no freedom media must work for positive functions in society related to education information mobilization and motivation means media should promote education information mobilization and motivation especially to working class people theory says the state have absolute power to control any media for the benefits of people means they can control media in such manner like uh, whatever they want whatever the state want can do they can control media why because for the they have the power to control media for the benefits of people media should promote and project society according to marxist principle as i told you what are the marxist principle so what they uh, according to this theory media should promote those principles and work according to it the media is ultimately controlled by the state and integrated with other instruments media is controlled by the state as we know and see they must some regulatories are there which the media has to follow like act with responsibility media has to act with responsibility they should be responsible evolve and follow norms of profession means they should not go against the state they should not they should not do whatever they want they have to follow the norms which is set by the government media should be responsive to people hopes and aspiration they should be responsible towards the people so with media theory allows some restriction based on the nation interest rather than personal benefit see in this theory they are telling that media is not working for the personal benefit they are working for the nation interest this theory allows some restriction that no uh, media should not work for the personal benefit of the state they should rather they should work for the nation interest in this theory the journalist or press is a supporter of the leadership not the watchdog this means the journalist the journalists are the supporters they are not the watchdog means they cannot uh, put their eye into the uh, government's matter they could not interfere okay or they cannot reveal anything against the government they has to be in support of government whatever government is saying they have to work according to it the government media provides positive thoughts to create a strong socialized society see what the government do government create and positive image towards the society so that there should be a creation of strong socialized society here the public was encouraged to give feedback which would able to create interest towards the media this means here the public was encouraged okay up to some extent public can give their feedback soviet media theory looks similar like authoritarian theory but the core part is different from each other how it is different from each other because authoritarian theory uh, it is similar okay authoritarian theory how because in soviet communist theory media is controlled by the state and even in authoritarian theory the media was controlled by the ministries okay so uh, in authoritarian theory it was one way communication means only they didn't listen to anybody they did whatever they wanted to do but in this theory uh, there is two way communication means they also get take a feedback from the people they also take a feedback from the society now let's move on to the examples when the russians media was still under the soviet communist system the official communist paper pravda portrayed the ideology that communist is good by praising stalin's uh, stalin's non aggression pact with hitler this means see what happened 
uh, when the Russia was under the control of the Soviet communist system, that time there was a paper, official communist paper called Pravda. In that paper, uh, they portrayed an ideology that communist is good. Everything was about everything was uh, everything was about the communist party. Okay, that it is good. It is doing such works and all. They never go against. They never reveal the bad things. And uh, how they portrayed? One example is there. They portrayed by praising Stalin's and uh, Stalin's non-aggression pact with Hitler. That is. A uh, non-aggression pact, as you all know, is a uh, there was a de there was a signatories like there was a, a deal between the two countries or more countries that there will be no military action should be taken against each other against each other country each con other country okay so it portrayed that yeah the Hitler and Stalin have signed for it so communism is good they are taking such actions and all but what they did they avoided reporting about the Chernobyl disaster as it may raise concerns about the safety of Soviet nuclear plants. Pravda reported about the incident only two days later, constant urging from Sweden. Means, see, there was an inc incident, Chernobyl disaster. In that incident, what happened, many of the uh, working class people, the people working in that nuclear plant died because of some, because there was a disaster there okay so what happened they did not show that news they did not uh, they did not um, in Pravda they just told about the good things but they didn't show this disaster thing there so what happened the two days later they, they don't, didn't want it to um, show this news but uh, after the many requests and all like not the uh, after uh, it was forced like Sweden forced them constantly for two days to report this one the north korean media is entirely controlled by the government second example is the north korean media is also entirely controlled by the government see when there was no uh, there was no journalist means there was no independent journalist what happened uh, the government used them as a instrument right means the uh, government controlled all the powers of the uh, media into his hands that time what they showed that uh, media used to cover up the bad things also about the government but they were not allowed to reveal that they were not uh, allowed to show the problems facing by by the North Korean people and you can also take one example of China because China is also under the uh, China is also following this theory only because everything is under the control of the government. All the mass media is under the control of the government. Now let's move on to the criticisms. This theory is propaga propaganda based information is only delivered. The information might be false. Means, see, as the media is under the control of the uh, government, so they cannot they cannot tell anything wrong about the mm, media I means about the government so what happens the theory is propaganda based means whatever the government is saying that only the media has to bring into concern so some it may be right also wrong also it may be false or true we never know but it is propagated to the society media cannot criticize the government they don't have right they don't have right to criticize the government. They just have to support the government. The media cannot play the role of the watchdog. The development of the nation depends on the characteristics of the leader. Means whatever the leader wants, they have to work according to it. Under this theory, the media reports less on the bad things that happen under communism and emphasizes the bad things that happen in democratic areas. What they do? According to this theory, uh, media cannot uh, report the bad things happening in the communism. Okay, but they emphasize the bad things happen in the democratic areas. So I hope you understood this theory well. So now I'll just take a leave. Thank you. If you like my channel, uh, if you understood me, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.